friends. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Tonight we have a very special fall farmhouse home tour and I'm so excited to share with you guys today. We have Candace from City Girl Farmhouse here from Instagram sharing her stunning fall farmhouse today. You guys are gonna get so many decorating ideas for fall, budget-friendly projects, and I'm just so excited to have her here today sharing her beautiful home. So without further ado, let's welcome her here today and get started with tonight's tour. Hi, I'm Candace from City Girl Farmhouse, and I wanna welcome you to my home. Thank you, Holly, for inviting me to share my home with you on this tour, and thank you for watching. When you enter my home, the first thing you'll see is the little entryway corner. Now this house didn't have an official entryway, but I thought it was important to designate a space for that purpose. I like to utilize the empty spaces in my home to have as much functionality as possible, while also adding in the design characteristics that I love. To the right of the entryway is our living room. I like to add as many cozy elements as possible, especially in the fall time. Our fireplace is probably the most decorated area and I like to make that the focal point of the room. I incorporate as many antique and um, unique pieces as possible in order to utilize the space. Um, so we have a few chairs, um, lamps, because I love to use um, accent lighting where possible. And then I also recently acquired these antique theater seats. So they're functional, but they also provide extra seating without taking up too much space. Behind the couch, I have this hanging gallery wall where um, it has hooks that can be changed out. So right now it's decorated for Halloween. And that's a look through into our kitchen. So on this wall, it has our thermostat, but instead of um, hiding it, I just kind of embrace the fact that it's kind of an awkward angled wall. And I decided to accent it and put a table here that we already had when we moved in and it happened to fit perfectly. And I decorate that with um, some antique pieces that I have on hand and I switch it out whenever I get new ones in or um, I just kind of shop my home and switch things out and change things whenever I get inspired. And right here you kind of get a good image of the, the three walls and kind of how it looks if you're standing at the corner of the living room. And here is a, the ceiling fan we changed out and changing the lighting in the house um, made a, a major difference because when we moved in it just had the basic lights so here is another view of the living room. If you are standing in front of the couch towards the fireplace, you can see where we have um, some extra seating. And here is the wall that I have decorated for Halloween. So behind that is the staircase that leads up to our bedrooms. Over to the side is where the entryway is. And then behind the couch, we have this antique bench that we can pull out when we have company over for extra seating as well. Walking through into the next room, we enter the dining room. And then in here, we have a vintage style rug. Um, I wanted to do something a little different and add some color here. And then we have a bench on one side that really helps um, keep this space open and doesn't take up too much room. And then for my table setting, I always like to have a um, seasonal piece there, um, but nothing too bulky that will um, be too hard to get out of the way when we're sitting down to eat because we do sit here and eat every day. So we don't like anything too complicated there. And then off to the side, there's my cat. <laughs> we have this hutch that is filled with um, some mugs. And then a 
few antique pieces mixed in with some new pieces. That sign was handmade for us as a wedding present. And then this antique lantern, my husband actually hardwired it to be a uh, functional lantern. So um, that was actually a, a very cool project that we got to work on together. Now we walk over into the kitchen. I have these hanging art boxes that I like to change out the decor pretty much every season. And these are convenient because um, I don't have to, you know, take anything off the wall. They're already installed, but I can still change up the look whenever I want to. And then over here, hanging from um, the cabinet side, um, I have a little rack here that I also can change up and it's pretty convenient and it's kind of utilizing a space that I wouldn't normally think to put anything on. And then back against the window, I have my coffee bar. And when we first moved in, we had um, a very basic kitchen um, it was just like the very basic builder grade level so that was the first thing that we actually renovated so um, we painted those cabinets we put in those countertops um, everything was changed when we moved in and it made a huge impact and I have to have my coffee bar that was very important And those shelves that you see off to the side, um, I couldn't find any shelves that I really wanted or that fit my style. And so my husband and I actually made those shelves together. And those are something that um, I also like to, to change out with the seasons as well. And they're fun to decorate and add my antique pieces to. And, We were brand new homeowners when we um, were first renovating that kitchen. So um, it is something that me and my husband are still really proud of. And we really love our, our kitchen, especially knowing that we put so much work and effort into making it what it is. So now walking back through, we have the kitchen, the dining room, back into the living room and then we'll go upstairs and I will show you the guest room, which happens to be one of my favorite rooms in the house. In the hallway at the top of the second floor, I have this skinny table that fit perfectly right there in the corner. And I've styled it with some antique pieces um, right underneath this vintage mirror. And you can kind of see some of the lightings that we've um, changed up in the hallway. And I've incorporated some special pieces like my dried bouquet and a family Bible. At the top of the steps, the first room you see is the guest bedroom. This is my favorite room in the house. I was inspired by historic B&Bs and that is kind of how I've tried to recreate this room. Almost everything in here is an antique. I have this um, vintage mirror that I scored at a estate sale. I have those antique doors that are behind the day bed. And that bed is perfect for guests because it pulls out into a second bed when people stay over. And then in this desk, I've um, added some authentic letters from the 1800s. And I like the idea that when guests come over, they can kind of read through the letters and 
see some unique vintage pieces. And I've always loved antique doors, but for this house, it doesn't make sense to replace the doors and put old ones in. So um, I found this way um, to style them and be able to bring them in. And that screen door I actually picked up in Waco, Texas and drove 12 hours with it in the back of my car. <laughs> Over here we have my gallery wall. And I was always so inspired by the ones that I would see online and I decided to try and recreate one for myself. So this is the first one I've done and um, I was really happy with the way it turned out because I was able to put some of my favorite pieces that I've acquired over the years um, on display in one place. And of course I had to represent Atlanta there. trunk uh, to store extra linens and then directly opposite the bed there is an antique school desk and I use this just as an extra seat and then also a table that I like to style and show just a collection of more antique pieces that I've picked up along the way there is my dog over there in the hallway picture of the farmhouse is just kind of an inspiration to me. It has some really pretty details and this was another Facebook marketplace find. And I love being able to display some of my smaller pieces here too. Here is one more overview of this room. And thank you guys so much for watching this tour of my home. I have really enjoyed showing you around and showing you my style. And it's been so much fun. Thank you. A big thank you to Candace for sharing her fall home tour today. I hope you all got some new ideas that you can use in your home. And a big thank you to all of you for watching and supporting these wonderful ladies and our channel. I really, really appreciate all of you so very much. And I will see you all in tomorrow's fall home tour. Bye.